Hi everybody, my name is Mrs Porter and I'm the head of RE at Trinity Academy. Um, all of you Year 8 students, most of you will know who I am. Um, I just wanted to um, give you a few details on why we teach RE as a compulsory subject at Trinity Academy. So even though this is your options evening, we're also going to give you a little bit of information about the subjects that um, you don't get a choice over. You don't get to opt in or out of studying RE. Um, everybody does it. And the reasons for that is um, there are two underlying principles that we have here at Trinity. Um, one of them is to give you an academic um, education. So we want you to work hard, achieve your potential and get some GCSEs at the end of these five years and hopefully use them to either go on to study A-levels or to get yourself a job so that you can be a successful worker out there in the big wide world. Um, however, we also have what we call our character curriculum. And so as well as um, wanting you to get an academic education, um, we also have, hold very important your character education. And that means we want to teach you to be tolerant and um, global citizens that understand the world around them, that know how to give to the world and to give back to um areas of the world that don't have the privileges and the chances and opportunities that we have in this country. Now, RE fulfills both of those underlying principles. It is a great academic course. You get a GCSE out of it. We wouldn't want you to study it and not get a qualification. So it's a GCSE for you um, if you work hard and uh, work over the next three years um, to get a good GCSE grade. Um, but it is also the underpinning foundation of our ethos and our character curriculum. So we will teach you about worldwide issues. We will teach you about different religions. We will teach you about different people groups. And we'll teach you about the world and this country and the law that's in it and um, where the history of all of that came from. And that's vitally important because, you see, the UK used to be a Christian country. It's not a Christian country anymore. It's what we call post-Christian. OK, so it's after being a Christian country. But the thing is, there are still an awful lot of Christian language and biblical references in the language that we speak, in the art that we look at, in the books that we read, in the music that we listen to. And so without knowing about the Christian heritage of this country, you won't be able to engage fully in the, in the country and the world and all that it has to offer. So if you've ever heard phrases like the patience of Job or pride comes before a fall or red sky at night, shepherd's delight, you've probably wondered where they've come from. Well, all of those and many, many more are all from the Bible. So one of the things that we want to do is to help you understand the world around you and become a global citizen that really impacts the world around you in Thorn, beyond Thorn, in the UK and in the much, much wider world. And RE does all of that. So at Trinity, we think it's really important and um, we appreciate your support and we appreciate that many of you won't be religious in any way shape or form and that's okay nobody's going to demand that you have to be religious but we do ask you to learn about the religions and we do learn ask you to learn about your country and the history behind it so i look forward to seeing you in our new gcse lessons in year nine in year nine it's called religious studies the gcse and it's great fun. I love teaching it. And I know for a fact that all my classes love learning it. And I'm sure everybody else will too, because I've got some great teachers in my department who are just waiting to introduce you to the big wide world and the history behind it. Thanks a lot, Year 8. See you later. Bye.